Hello everyone and welcome to this video overview of what's new in Vantage Update 6. First, we added Cosmos materials and the option to map them using the Triplanner mapping. What's more, Vantage can now open and import FBX, OBJ and multiple other file formats. We also added batch rendering for stills and the animation editor. And we also optimized the memory usage of Light Cache. There is a number of other improvements as well, so make sure you download and try out the new build. Let's have a look at the scene. This is an interior in which I'm going to import an external file, in this case FBX. And I'm going to place here a car model that has been provided by Mohammed Hamid. Holding shift while drag and dropping will keep the original object's orientation. I'll select geometry and materials and place. Here's the model. And the same functionality is accessible via the file import menu. You can see the whole hierarchy here. And if I shift click on the parent, I will expand every children in the hierarchy recursively. You can see the tires and so on. And since the materials of the object are quite simple, I'm going to show you how quickly you can reapply a new ones. Let's select the material of the selected object. This, that's the one. And you can see all the other materials listed in the material lister. Now I can apply materials one by one, but uh, I can also merge materials from another VR scene, like the car materials here. And I'm going to only select the material checkbox and import. Now at the bottom, the new materials are there and I can start applying those on the model. However, applying them one by one will be tedious task. So I can just hold the Alt key which will assign the material to all objects that have the same previous material, effectively replacing this material in the scene. Now I can also select uh, another object, get its material from the selection, and again, alt and replace the whole material. While this process can be fun, I can miss some of the hidden objects inside, so I'm going to show you another option. I can select the tire, for example, get its material in the browser. Here it is, tire. And I'm going to select all the objects that have this material. Then I'm going to scroll down, find the ray trace tire material and apply it to the selection. Let's do it once more. Select this guy, find this material, select all the objects with this material and apply the ray traced version of this material. All right, I'm going to skip ahead and load the pre-saved version with all the material assignments. There it is. I'm also going to import an additional VR scene with a couple of more car paint materials set up. I'm going to open it up and only select the material checkbox and the materials are going to be at the bottom and I'm going to apply those to see some different variations of the car paint. Here it is with the black material. Let's try the red one. But I think I'm going to stay with the horizon blue one. To apply a couple more materials, I'm going to show you the integration of Cosmos materials. In the Cosmos browser, I have the materials category selected. And I'm going to come in closer here. Let's download this material. And apply it. It will automatically be imported. And you can see that it uh, matches nicely. That's because I have the Triplanner mapping option on. If I turn it off, you can see the scaling is quite off. So let's turn it back on. That is valid for every materials here. Let's go to the download it only and experiment with different versions. Uh, but the bricks are actually not that good for this type of scene. So I'm going to apply a concrete one. Let's select this one. Uh, it's a little bit too wide to, for my taste. Let's use this guy. Yep, this is much, much better. Okay, let's uh, adjust the exposure and have a look at the sofa. I'm going to replace this material. Uh, let's use this red one. And remember, holding the Alt key replaces it for the whole scene. Uh, let's use the yellow one for the cushion. No, this one. And uh, let's apply uh, this one for the rug. Uh, maybe the other one. And this guy, okay. Yep, it sits nicely. All right. And let's do one more material. I'm going to select the metals category and uh, apply this to these lamps here. Again, Alt key, uh, maybe that's too yellow. Right, this guy. Um, let's go ahead and try to place one more here on the uh, garage door. 
maybe that's a bit too dark let's go to the original camera uh yeah that's that's a bit too much so let's uh, undo that all right let's close the cosmos browser uh, just the exposure you can see i have a bunch of cameras already prepared the, these are used for animation as well uh, you can see the animation that i've built over here and I'm going to show how you can queue and batch render multiple cameras or the animation sequence as well. Both stills and animation rendering are combined in the render setup window and you can queue different cameras in this queue over here. Now let's select the still image and set up and queue a couple of cameras. Let's go with the first one or the original one, set the output location and add this to the queue. You can see the resolution and the perspective mode. I can also add the same camera with a smaller resolution. Uh, let's type in another location and add this as well. And you can see the difference. Selecting another camera will change the thumbnail. Uh, these thumbnails correspond to the ones from the camera lister. And uh, you can also change the projection mode of the camera. I'm going to select spherical, uh, type a different output name. And let's also add a sequence camera from here. Uh, you can see that now we have frame range. Let's uh, adjust this one, something smaller. You can add multiple entries with different starting and ending frame to create different takes. Okay, uh, adjust the resolution and add it to the render queue. Animation entries don't have render thumbnail, but rather an icon here. To delete an item from the queue, you can press the delete button and then press again, just like in the camera lister. You can use these buttons to get the settings from an already added entry or vice versa. Put the settings from the render window to an uh, added entry. Finally, I have prepared a screenshot of the same scene with the previous version of Vantage to illustrate the memory optimizations of light cache we did in this version. I'm going to increase the resolution and check the details to see the memory consumption. Here is the old one. And in this case we get more than a gigabyte. And that concludes this video. I hope you like the new features. Thanks for watching and take care.